So let's do the math. Now, when it comes to this, the question you ask yourself is, how many x's going to x squared? Just one x. Because x times x is x squared. Does that make sense so far? Now, to do the remainder, you always take away. So x times x is x squared. Now, you also got to times the second term as well. 3 times x is plus 3x. Okay, so this is how you set it up. So this is like the line we're doing here. Yep. So x squared take away x squared is 0. 7 take away 3 is plus 4x. And then what you do after you, got, uh, you operate that, you take the next term down, plus 12. And you ask yourself the same question. How many x's going to 4x? 4, so write plus 4. Because if you now take away x times 4, that's 4x. And times the second one as well, 3 times 4, that's 12. And what do you notice? 4 take away 4 is 0, 12 take away 12 is 0, so that's it. Oh my god. So what that means, girls, that means x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to this times that. In other words, x plus 3 times x plus 4. Okay? These two are the products of that. Okay? Where does that logic come in? Just like here, you know how 804 in this case means 6 times 134. Does, isn't that right? Yeah? So that means, similarly, that times that is equal to the dividend. Okay? We're going to just continually apply the same logic. All right? Let's have a look at higher powers here. So same question, girls. How many 2x's going to 6x cubed? So in other words, 2x times what is 6x cubed? 3x squared. Does that make sense? So we always take away. Girls, can you just... All right. So, we got that, but you also have to times the second term as well. Minus 1 times 3x squared is minus 3x squared, okay? Your first one's always going to be 0. Now, 1 take away, take away 3 is 4. So, you're going to write plus 4x squared. It's very important you do the operation carefully. And then what do I do after that? You bring the next term down. And then ask yourself the same question. How many 2x's going to 4x squared? So if 2x times what is 4x squared? Plus 2x. Does that make sense? Because 2x times 2x is always take away 4x squared. And then times it by the second one, minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Okay? So that 4 take away 4 is 0. Now notice in this case we can't do minus 1 take away take away 2x. So we're just going to write it as it is because you can't take away these two. This is a number, this is a letter, right? Let's just simplify that. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. Now, I'm just going to rearrange this and write 2x first and minus 1, okay? Now, how many 2x's is going to 2x? 1. So I'm going to write plus 1. Let's see what happens. Take away 2x, and then minus 1 times 1 is? What do you notice? What's the remainder? 0. So that's your answer. Okay, so you need to conclude it. Therefore, 6x cubed plus x squared minus 1 is equal to this times that. Bracket 2x minus 1, bracket 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so girls, when you divide a polynomial by another polynomial, we say, because there's no remainder, so 2x minus 1 is a factor of... Um, 6x cubed plus 6x squared minus 1. We say it's a factor because there's no remainder and it divides perfectly. Okay? Now we're going to do polynomial division where there are remainders, where the remainder is not 0. So pay attention. Same steps. Okay? Same question. How many x's going to x cubed? x squared. x squared. Alright? So take away as usual. x times x squared is x cubed. That's what we want. Now it's times that with the second one. 3 times x squared. 3x squared. All right. So this is 0. Got 5 minus 3. 2x squared. And then after this, what do I have to do? Bring 1 down. Bring 1 down. Don't bring both. It's 1 at a time. And now ask yourself the same question. How many x's going to 2x squared? Yeah. Plus 2x. 
So minus x times 2x is 2x squared. And 3 times 2x is? Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. What's that? 0. Minus 6. Minus 6. What's? Yeah, so minus 12x. Okay. After you do that, what do you do? Bring it down. Ask yourself the same question. How many x's going to minus 12x? Minus 12. Yeah? So if I do minus, so x times minus 12 is minus 12x, which is what I want. And then times with the second term as well, 3 times minus 12 is minus 36. Minus 12 minus minus 12. The first one's always going to be 0. That's what you want. Okay? Now this one, minus 4 minus minus 36. 32. Because minus 4 plus 32. So girls, this is your remainder. You can't do any more than that. That's your remainder. So if there's a remainder, okay, the way you write your answer is, so that x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6x minus 4 is equal to that times that, but what do I write at the end? That's right. So that's how you do this question if there's a remainder. It's not a factor because there's a remainder. Do you have to specify that it's not a factor or...? Oh, if they ask you. Okay. Alright, last question. Just same thing, slightly trickier. Alright, so... How many x is going x cubed? And then what do I write next? So this is zero. Now, notice I can't do minus x, take away, take away, 3x squared. They're different terms. So if they're different terms, just write it as it is. So minus 1x minus minus 3x squared is plus 3x squared, OK? Now you also got to bring down the 4. That's what I wanted to ask you, OK? When you get your remainder here, you want to rearrange this so that the higher power comes first. So rearrange this and write it like this. Yeah? Because now you can ask yourself, how many x is going to 3x squared? Uh, 360. Plus 3x. Yeah. yeah, because x times plus 3x will give us 3x squared. Minus 3 times that is minus 9x. Okay, so let's do the remainder here. That's 0. Minus 1. Minus minus 9. That's 8. So that's plus 8x plus 4. Just keep going. How many x is going to 8x? So plus 8. So take away 8x minus. Yep. 4 take away take away 24. That's your remainder. You stop here. Okay. So therefore x cubed minus x plus 4 is equal to what am I writing? X minus 3 times the um, question. Yeah, and then plus the remainder. All right? What do you think? Confusing? Different? Yeah, girls, this is useful especially in getting the factors out so you can graph polynomials with higher powers. So when it comes to cubic graphs, quartic graphs, you need to know how to do this. Any question? All right, thanks, girls.